in the process of line boring the spindle tube on a 14 by 40 lathe. Uh, when I picked up the lathe, one important thing was to have a two inch spindle board. Somewhere along the lines, I tried to put a piece of two inch stock in there and it wouldn't quite go. Uh, measured up the ID of the board and discovered it was one inch, 990 some odd thousands. I forgot the exact dimension. So, after seeing a couple of videos online of line boring, I was thinking maybe we could give this a whirl and it would pan out well. Uh, took some measurements. Overall, I wanted to take around 20 thousandths off the ID. That would be 10 thousandths per side. It's something that I felt comfortable doing. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be too, taking too much meat off of there. So, this right now is in the process of backing, backing the tool out. Uh, how it all is working is that piece of stock you see right there that's bolted into the boring bar holder, that's a piece of 1 and 7 8 pole rolled uh, mild steel. It was roughly 5 foot long. You can see the other end sticking out over here. Uh, there was a cutter that was punched down through the center of it. Uh, I can give some pictures of that later on. Uh, on the back side here, you can see the four adjusting screws spinning around there. That's a little threaded adapter, centering, uh, I guess people call them spiders, uh, that I use for miscellaneous projects. Uh, on the very end, right there, was a bushing that I made. It was made out of, a, I don't know, some sort of steel that I had laying around here. Uh, bored it out to a tight tolerance, pressed in a piece of bronze, uh, tossed it back in a lathe, cut the OD of the bushing, roughly a sixteenth under the ID of the spider to give enough clearance in there that it could shuffle, move it around and get everything running true. On the chuck side of it, pretty much did the same exact concept as that. Uh, chucked up a piece of uh, steel, pressed in a bronze bushing, and then finished out the bore to, ooh, I think it was one inch A74. Pretty sure the stock was at 73. Turned down this one end to, uh, to just under an inch so I could hold it in a boring bar holder. Uh, and here we are. Uh, so far it seems to be panning out pretty well. Uh, there's one more pass after this backs its way out. There's going to be one more pass. I'm going to have to make an adjustment on the cutter. And it's done cutting. I'll back this out right now by hand. Okay, on this bushing right here, you could probably see the piece of bronze sticking out just a hair. There it is. Uh, that's what I'm just using as a bearing to go through. The cutter in there is just a piece of high speed steel, ground pretty much on center. The hole that it sits in is off center on the bar by half the diameter of the uh, half the diameter of the two squares. I forget what it was. It's a piece of quarter inch uh, high speed steel. I think corner to corner it was 340-ish, 350-ish. Uh, when I drilled the hole, I made the hole half of that distance off the of center. So when I put the bit in there, the edge of the bit would be on center. Uh, it panned out pretty well. Where the hell did it go? Panned out pretty well. Uh, the math, I should have done the math a little bit more. to the hair off. Uh, on the side here, is a lock screw to hold it in place. And on the bottom side, opposite of the cutting tip, that hole isn't a through hole. It's a blow, pretty much a blind hole. On the back side of it, there it's, it's threaded with a set screw, which I can push up and use it as an adjuster to push the bit up and down. Um, right now, I'm gonna have to make about a 3,000th adjustment on it. So I'll end up cracking that screw loose, tightening up the bottom a little bit, and then locking it all back in and taking another pass. Uh, instead of boring you with all of this, uh, cut it short. But that's a one and seven eighths bar, inch and a quarter or a quarter inch cutter, ground down. The end was ground down to roughly an inch, and just got it bolted into the uh, boring bar holder. Here's the boring bar, the sleeves, and the spider used to bore out the spindle tube on the lathe. 
Uh, I'm sure you could tell this video is composed of a bunch of smaller clips glued together. So if I'm repeating myself from past things I've said, sorry about that. Uh, the bar itself is a piece of inch and seven eighths coal rolled. Uh, it was originally six foot long. Got it from Enco on one of their 20% off free shipping and handling uh, deals. Uh, chopped the bar down to five, roughly five foot. Uh, put it in the mill. Drilled out this main hole right here, which is one that holds the cutter. Give you a little shot of the cutter here. That's just a piece of quarter inch uh, high speed steel ground ground to a sharp point, sharper point. I don't know, it's probably got about a 30 second radius on it. Uh, the hole was off center enough so the tip of the cutter would be in the center of the bar. It sits in there. Uh. Roughly like that. Uh, the hole doesn't go all the way through. I forgot how deep it goes. Maybe about an inch, inch and an eighth, something like that. And then on the opposite side of the hole, it was drilled and tapped, and I got a set screw in there, which is used for an adjuster to push up how far the cut and tip will sit. And then in the side, this one here is also threaded and tapped with a set screw. After we get the height set to where we wanted it to be, just locked it all down through there. Uh, this is the spider that was used, screws on the end of the spindle on the outboard side. This sleeve first made up this sleeve. Uh, you can see the weld on there. Uh, <clears throat> first chucked this up, roughed out the OD, finished the ID and pressed in a piece of bronze. Uh, tossed it back in the lathe, finished board it to I think it was like eight, uh, one inch 874. It was a nice smooth fit on the, OD, uh, on the boring bore itself uh, and then I just set that aside later chucked up this one which was the front sleeve that sat in the chuck you can see all the freaking dig marks in there wow uh, chucked this up pressed into a piece of bronze rechucked it up after bronze was pressed into it and then finished board that then it sat in there then I went <clears throat> put on the end uh, put on the uh, spider put the tube in there Put the boring bar in there, put the sleeve, put the boring bar in there, and trued up the outside end of it. Got it all running nice and good. Uh, previous to that, oh, excuse me, turned down this end of the bar. This is what was sitting in the boring bar holder. Uh, before, after it came off, after the boring bar came off the uh, mill, I tossed it in the lathe, turned down that end, and then polished the whole thing as best as I could. I think it went through three grits, 180, 220, and then 320. Flipped the bar over, finished the other end, so at least it had a nice finish going across the whole thing. And that was about it. Everything else is what you've seen previous.